Good morning, everybody. It is 4.57 a.m. I am about to get ready for work. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm tired, but, well, I mean, obviously I'm tired. I didn't go to sleep tonight. I didn't go to sleep last night. So I've been up since yesterday. But the thing is though, I've been up thinking. Cause lately I've been like in a depressive state. And I'm realizing that I need to get out of it. Right? So ooh, I'm kinda glad that I did stay up. Because it gives me a chance to fix my hair because normally if my hair wasn't fixed i would just wear hair and i don't want to do that today i don't want to do that anymore this month at all right i might have to fix that i just burnt the freak out my head just now i'm in my scalp anyway um i don't want to do that i want to get my life together and get out here and be the girl that i am you know you don't see that smoke from this fucking thing. Uh... But yeah, y'all, I'm up. I'm getting ready for work. We're gonna see if I'm gonna be leaving that. I don't know. Should I do straight or yeah, I'm gonna do straight because it's like castle free. I don't really have to worry about it. And since I'm gonna be at work, I ain't really trying to do too much to be keeping up with it in the bathroom and all of that. Like, I don't got time for that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but when I go to work, I actually go to work and I actually do, like, work. I really do work. Maybe I'm a clown for that. <laughs> I don't know, but um, I just can't help it. Like, And maybe that's why I'm so, that's why I be stressed out because they're doing too much they shouldn't be getting all that maybe honestly it'd be my roots my roots be like girl what the fuck it's probably gonna be the only time I'm flat out of my head while I have this in Unless I actually go outside to do something. Because I don't like um, fucking on my head. I don't want to keep that under my head. I'm going to keep that in the shirt. But yeah, today, um, I plan on having a really good day today. I can't return that umbrella because honestly, I used that umbrella for like 10 minutes. I don't see myself having to use that umbrella ever again in life. Like, I really don't. Like, I never even should have got that umbrella. Like, I paid, what, that umbrella was, like, literally 30 damn dollars for an umbrella that I'm never going to use. I haven't had an umbrella in, like, I don't know how many years. Like, a long ass time. I don't need an umbrella. So, I'm returning that. Um, yeah, we're going to take that back. We're going to go to work. Get some work done. Um, I'm almost finished the jacket. I just got to do, like, a little bit of cleaning up on it and everything but I'm probably not going to do that today because today I told myself actually yeah I'm not going to do it today but starting on what is that Saturday I want to be asleep at 10 30 every night I love myself and it's time that I show it like, I want to be asleep at 10 30 every day, every single night. Because, unless I'm going out with someone like that, you know. But for the most part, yeah, I want to be asleep at 10 30 because I'm not getting enough sleep and it's like messing with my productivity. My productivity. Like, I'm not able to get everything done because I'm not getting enough sleep. When I'm up at night, I'm just like scrolling on TikTok or YouTube or whatever. And I'm not really, um, being productive and then when I wake up the next day I probably wake up at like 
one o'clock or something like that. I'll probably wake up earlier, but I'll be in bed until like one because I'm still tired. So it's like, I gotta go to sleep early because I need to be up on the days that I don't work. I still need to be up at five o'clock in the morning doing what I need to do because I got a lot of stuff on my list that I need to accomplish. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then also, I need to get back working out. I'm not feeling it. I'm not, um, I'm feeling like a body at rest stays at rest. And I feel like my body has been at rest for way too long. And I'm not liking that either. So yeah, I'm gonna get back working out. I'm so fucking tired. I cannot do another day like this. But, um, I feel like this hair, just to give a little hair review, I feel like this hair is getting thicker as the days go by. Maybe that's just me imagining things. Oh, my head is so bad. That's, that's why I hate those sewing. Like, my head is so freaking bad. But I cut all my hair off, so now I gotta grow back. And, um, I love my natural girls. I'm just not natural girl. Like, my hair is natural. It is natural. Like, I don't have a relaxer. I don't have any color. Nothing. But, I'm not a natural girl. Like, I don't wear my hair in a natural state unless it's, like, really... If my hair is grown out and it's really big, yeah, I would do that. But... I just don't wear my hair natural, short. I don't like that. Unless it's styled in a cute shortcut, something like that. But other than that, no. Don't judge me, y'all. I just, for myself, I don't like the natural hair, but I really do love like the natural look on people. Like the natural, um, and sometimes maybe that's not even natural, I don't know. It is natural, cause um, this hair a little nappy too. The big bushes, I love those. Even the small ones, I love those. I just, I feel like I don't have the face for it. So I'm gonna rock out with the weave and the braids. Until I get the length that I want. Hey guys, so I am with my uncle. Mmm, my lips look ashy on Um, we are on the way to get something to eat. It looks like it's about to rain. So y'all, I caught a freaking a lift over here, right? It usually takes like 20 minutes to get here. Tell me why this man took 35 minutes to get here. Like that, 35 minutes versus 20, that's like a double the time. Like he wanted to sightsee and shit but it's like as soon as you try to say something to them they get an attitude and they start fussing and talking about oh well i know where i'm going like clearly you don't because you went all the way around the fucking world just to get right here like i don't know i just hate riding in lifts so my uncle's kind of mad at me because um he has a car well he doesn't have a car he knows somebody that's selling the car but i'm not i don't want to spend all of my money on the car like it's kind of like very expensive the car is expensive and i don't want to spend all of my money and then be broke so i said let's wait a week but he ain't really trying to hit it we about to go get something to eat and i'm gonna try to get him on camera see what he say because he's wild i'm gonna see what he say because um he be having gems for real but he also be talking a lot of shit <laughs> so uh yeah I'll get back to you guys in the next clip. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is my uncle's album. And this is his song right here. It's called Love You All Over. This sounds good. You ain't never heard this song? No, I ain't. I'm gonna love you. Yes, I do. <laughs> Oh, 
okay. I'm gonna put you on my YouTube. Is that okay? Yeah, not me. No, not you. Just me. Let's see if you got time. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're good. Y'all, we are at St. Mary's, uh, Jamaican spot. Yeah, St. Mary's restaurant. Yeah. My drink was kind of hard. It wasn't That's good. your, that's your drink, man. Yeah, no. Um, this tastes like, um, ginger snaps. <laughs> <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you tell me about your, uh, the upcoming fact? Okay, thank you. That's a, that's a chicken brown stew, whatever. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's chicken? Oh, you want the plantains? Mm -hmm. What you got? You don't like cabbage? No, I love cabbage. Oh, you want some mothers? Yeah. Yeah, we'll you too. Do you cook? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be good then. You want somebody that's your friend? Mm-hmm. You might as well walk down. Yeah, look, see the woman like this. If we leave, five minutes after you leave, you want to see a call and say, where you at? What you doing? <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I just left the, um, I think it's called St. Mary's. The food is really, really, really good. I didn't finish my food because it was so much, but I could have finished it because it was really good. But, um, yeah, so we ate that. I got a Jolly Rancher, which was rum and some other stuff, whatever. I don't know. I feel, like, good, but it really didn't do nothing. Like, I feel like they didn't put enough alcohol in it. But the food is really good. It's Jamaican food. So if y'all are in Baltimore on 25th Street, please, please, please try that out. The food is good. The service is good. The people in there are really, really nice. We sat in there at the bar and ate. And my uncle got some, I think he got jerk chicken or curry chicken. I don't know. But the food, his food is real good. I got uh, curry shrimp and it was, it's made to order. So it's not like sitting around waiting. Cause I went to this place one time and the food was like, it wasn't authentic Jamaican. Like the people in there, they are actually Jamaicans. So the food is really, really good. So if you're in the area, please try that. Right now I am waiting for him. He went to go see one of his friends or whatever. And we about to go see a car, see what that's looking like. And I'll get back to you guys. What? Out, maybe an hour. And I'm saying, I said, man, why don't you have this shit half cooked? Because you ain't got. I'm... So it's that nasty. And then I went in there, I rushed him one day, and the chicken wasn't. I bit into it, and it was red. I said, that's <laughs> it with that. I'm gonna... Girl is outside. <clears throat> I'm on Greenmount. I used to live around the corner. Yeah, I used to be an East Side girl for a few years, but West Side.
So, I think I'm gonna end up getting me a bike. I think I got the items, y'all. I ate that food, now I'm exhausted and I haven't done anything. Like, <laughs> I don't, haven't done anything. But that was the only thing I ate today. It was really, really good though. So now we're waiting to go meet my uncle's friend. To look at his car. And I still gotta see if I can get him on camera. He's a little high up right now. And um, <laughs> he's been talking about everything, so I don't know. We gonna see. But other than that, I had a good day. Um, I'm exhausted because I told you I didn't go to sleep this morning. I mean, last night, so. And then I ended, I have to go to work at three o'clock in the morning. Why did I agree to that? I don't know, but I'm gonna be at work at 3 a.m. until tomorrow. So when I get home today, I gotta go straight to sleep. I did get a little nap before I came outside today. I think it was from like 11 to like three. I woke up at three o'clock. Actually, it was not 11, it was 12 until three. So yeah, a very, very short nap, but I'm still exhausted, but it's okay. When I get home, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is right now. My phone went dead. Who knows? I still got to edit this video. Oh my goodness. I have to hurry up and get home. Like I really do have to hurry up and get home. Yeah because, and I lost the earring. I don't like that because I like to have earrings on every day and now I gotta buy a new pair. Uh, ugh. I hate it. I'm just talking gibberish right now, y'all. I always feel good when I come outside though. Like, I don't know, it just wipes all my worries away. I love being outside. Being in the house is for the birds. Education. Uh -huh. And, you know, trying to decide that it, what it is you want to do with your life. Because when you're at 30, you know, you right there where you have to really make those, where you have to make those crucial decisions in terms of what you're going to do with the rest of your life. Right. For women, I would suggest if you out there hustling, trying to get your grind on, uh -huh. that's what you do. And if you meet a guy and he don't have what you have or he ain't not going in a direction and he just have good sex, that ain't a good combination. Right. You need a guy with a sense of direction like you have. A guy that's moving in the same way that you move in order for a relationship to be set because you don't want to be taking care of him and he don't want to be taking care of you. So you, when you come to the table, you bring in all of you, your abilities, your skill, your love, you know, and your ability to be able to, you know, be a person friend, because it's all about friendship first. If you're going to be in a relationship, you have to be that person friend, you know, and it takes a while to be a friend. That'll give you a chance to check out who you're with. Just because a dude look good and drive a nice car, that don't mean shit. You got to find out who that person is behind all that shit. You know, and that's basically the same thing for women, the same for men. It's about getting your own shit. This crazy dude waiting till the light changes, go across the street, the light. Oh, I'm sorry. Damn. It's just so far. We need a podcast for stupidity. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, um, if I and, and, and so, for instance, like me, uh -huh. it's like I've, I've, I've been involved with a lot of women, you uh -huh. know, good women. And, and I'm not going to say I'm not the person who might have created the situation where we broke up, uh -huh. but sometime it be them, you know? So it's about getting into yourself and trying to figure out who you are and what you, where you going in order for you to try to say I'm in a relationship because being in a relationship is hard work. Uh -huh. It's like two different worlds, Venus and Mars. Right. And, you, and, they, every, and they collide a lot. So you have to make it where Venus and Mars is in harmony. Where your man is respecting you, you respecting your man, and giving him love and you getting love. But the whole thing about it is that you have to know how to receive love. You know, and then the other thing is that that helped me out, because I had a therapist, is that all the things that you done been through, 
that you feel bad about, mm -hmm. learn how to forgive yourself. That's it. That's you are, you human. You know, you won't keep on making mistakes for the rest of your life. But you have to learn how to forgive yourself and move on. Mm -hmm. Because if you hold on to all that frustration, all that anger, anxiety, if you hang on to all that, it's only going to prevent you from doing your, getting towards your goal. Right. And you want to be able to be have a clear mind in terms of where you're going, what you're trying to get accomplished. You know. Hey guys, I'm back home. I always do this. Why? Anyway, um, today was a great day. I just wanted to get on here and close out the vlog. I had a really, really good day. Honestly, when I go outside and get fresh air, I feel so good. Like I gotta keep going outside and going outside and going outside and going outside because being in the house all the time is draining me, and I can't take it no more. So, um. Yeah, today was a great day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Disney.